2009 is the time for America to go somewhere. Our current president, Barack Obama, is going to pick up the Nobel Peace Prize. The economy is going back to where it was after a deep recession. NASA is contemplating going to Mars. And deep in the heart of the Midwest, a private liberal arts college is preparing itself to go where some wouldn't dare. Ripon College is going green. From its humble beginnings in 1851, the leaders of Ripon College have been called visionaries, pioneers, and have been some of the same people responsible for some of America's greatest changes. In the middle of campus stands a statue of Abraham Lincoln. Lincoln was the first Republican president in America's history. In fact, the Republican Party itself was founded two blocks from Ripon College by some of the same people who founded the institution. As time would reveal, it was a president from Illinois and a group of forward-thinking individuals from Ripon College who helped change America's history. Now we find that history will have a chance to repeat itself as our new president from Illinois and a new group of forward-thinking individuals from Ripon are working diligently to help make the necessary changes to achieve sustainability. In the following moments, you will be introduced to people from Ripon College who believe in going green. You are watching Red Hawks Going Green, brought to you by SDH Productions. My name is Brian Scammer. Here I'm the uh, physical plant director, so I'll uh, basically have supervisors working for me uh, in grounds, then the uh, maintenance, and then also the housekeeping. Uh, my name is Soren Hauge. I'm uh, an associate professor of economics uh, who contributes to environmental studies education around Ripon College by teaching a first year studies course in environmental economics and also a course on resource and environmental economics for the Economics Department and the Environmental Studies Program. Um, I'm Christine Anhalt uh, and I'm a recent graduate of Ripon College in May of 2009. Um, and while I was at Ripon College I was involved in IGOR, the environmental group of Ripon, um, for a number of years and uh, I was also involved with the Ethical Leadership Program. Uh, my name is Andy Bean. I'm a senior here at Ripon College. Um, I'll be double majoring in environmental studies and politics and government with a minor in communication and civic advocacy. Um, I've been active with the environmental group of Ripon uh, for the last four years and this year I'm leading it as its president. Oh, my name is David Joyce and I'm the president of Ripon College and I'm starting my seventh year getting ready for my seventh winter. And it's interesting, a lot of people don't know what a college president does. There are, I, I'm obviously the CEO of this organization, it's a $22 million annual budget. We hire about 220 employees. And um, there are a lot of components to, to leading a college. A major component is the public relations, public face that you put on the college. Uh, fundraising is a large part because the college, about 20 percent of what it takes to run a college has to be raised externally, at least that, that amount. And it's, it's the day-to-day -day operations uh, of leading and, and positioning the college as it moves forward in, into the future. Ripon College, per se, is a, is a high-quality Tier 1 National Liberal, Art, Liberal Arts College with over 94 percent of our students who actually live on campus. Well, Ripon College is a small private liberal arts college and it's got um, an aging physical plant. That means we have a small community that can be mobilized fairly quickly, I think, to act in ways to improve our environmental sustainability. But we also have some challenges working with 150-year-old buildings and 
um, equipment that's been updated slowly in them, but still has many uh, features which responded to the energy and material needs of their day, but uh, certainly could use some improvements for today's needs. Last year, um, we were invited along with all other colleges and universities by a national organization to sign on to a, to a document about becoming carbon neutral. And as a result of that, and because we have as part of our core values to be good stewards, I put together a task force to look at the document, determine how it was appropriate for the college, and then to make a recommendation to me was whether or not we should sign on to that. And it was, a, and it was all about a sustainability effort. Basically, uh, one of the things that came up right away was um, uh, getting assigned. Uh, we had a, a volunteer group trying to get an uh, exploratory committee together on sustainability. And then we're going to form a permanent sustainability uh, committee or task force team uh, this year, which I'm hoping I'll be a part of. Um, David Joyce came up with that. Uh, we sat down, we got uh, volunteers um, from around numerous professors, Bob Young um, and, uh, and myself. Bob was pretty much chairing the committee. I agreed to start it up, collect data, um, orchestrate some things, uh, and so I spent a year uh, helping a group of very uh, highly motivated uh, people, students, uh, faculty, and administrators to uh, come up with a plan, a sustainability plan. At the time that the sustainability task force was formed last year or last winter, it uh, didn't have a working group on campus that was uh, concerned with these issues on an ongoing basis and, and trying to coordinate activities around the campus. And I think um, we had a really good discussion. Um, I think that's what it was. It was a, a very introductory discussion about possibilities. And I'm not sure that that discussion has happened on Ripon College's campus before, bringing together residence life, um, plant department, the administration, faculty, and students all in one place to discuss what is even possible. We were dealt, we were dealt uh, you know, the cards of trying to make a decision initially on whether to recommend to President Joyce whether to sign the president's uh, climate commitment, which is a, a statement and a set of sort of promises that uh, university and college presidents have been considering, and many of which have been signing on to, which commits them to basically reducing the carbon footprint of their campuses. And as a, as a result of that task force, a couple things occurred. Obviously, like every other organization, we want to be environmentally responsible. And to do that, we need to know how irresponsible you are at this point and what it would take to become more responsible. In advance of even creating this task force, I, we had um, tasked a student to put together a document. She did a summer research project to determine what the carbon footprint that the college had at the current time. And a student who had worked last summer, or I guess it would be the summer before last at this point, measuring the, the carbon footprint of the campus, basically how much carbon dioxide emissions are created by all of the different aspects of campus activities, from heating the buildings, to lighting the rooms, to running all of the uh, vehicles in the plant department, plus commuting and travel by students, faculty, and staff. Uh, so it was helpful to know that information had been gathered that, that could inform our decisions, and some of which I wasn't aware of even as a person teaching about this, and having students in my classes work on research projects about this sort of thing occasionally.